Dios allá en Senegal. Hello viewers, it's great to bring you another episode of NAS this week where you are updated with top stories from the two chambers of Nigeria's National Assembly. I remain Lizzie Chikbi. We begin from the State House of Assemblies and on a sad note, Majority Leader of the Anambra State House of Assembly in Nandi Okafor representing Aku South State Constituency 1 has been reported dead in South Africa. He is reported to have been confirmed dead early Wednesday, hours after he slumped in a hotel at Santon City, Johannesburg, South Africa, where he has been holidaying for about one month since the assembly went on recess. Five months after the National Assembly transmitted 44 constitutional alteration bills to the 36 State House of Assemblies, there are indications that the much talked about local government autonomy may not be realized. As reported by leadership newspapers, only 10 of the 36 states have passed local government autonomy bill, which required the approval of 24 out of the 36 states, which forms to third majority to become a law. And the House of Representatives have resolved to intervene in the ongoing crisis in the nation's aviation sector with a view to resolving the conflict between the federal government and some international airline operators. Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila gave the indication after the House leadership was briefed on the recent notice of withdrawal of services issued by the international airline operators. The House of Representatives has berated Nigeria Bulk Electricity Trading, known as MBEP, for obligating Nigeria to pay $33 million monthly to a private company, Azura Power, for power generated in the country, even if not dispatched. This formed part of an interactive section between the House Committee of Finance, chaired by Rep. James Faleke, and the MBEP Managing Director. Nameka Eweluka, as well as the Transmission Company of Nigeria and Federal Inland Revenue Services at the National Assembly on Friday. And so what you are saying is that those geckos are giving you power to transmit without a connection agreement. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. But in this instance, there is no connection agreement between you and, and Azura. Is there any? There is. There is, there there is connection agreement. Yes. You know what I'm No, we don't have it. Okay. So, okay. okay. Is there? Okay. okay. Can, can you please send this? So, in that connection agreement, sir, what is the capacity of power you are expecting from Azura? 450 megawatts. Thank you, sir. Similarly, the Accountant General of the Federation is expected to appear before the lawmakers on Thursday to provide documentary evidences on the 6.7 trillion Naira fuel subsidy allegedly expended in 2022. The AGF is expected to give a detailed explanation on relevant financial transactions on the fuel subsidy between 2013 and 2022. Also, the member representing Orumba North South Anambra Federal Constituency, Okudili Ezewankwa, has said that the move to impeach President Muhammad Buhari has not been jettisoned by the National Assembly. Speaking on Tuesday in Onicha, Anambra State, the lawmaker insisted that the lawmakers will review the ultimatum given to Buhari when they resume from their annual recess in September. From the Senate, the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, has urged the Nigerian police to ensure speedy justice for the Islamic cleric in Yobu State. Sheikh Guni Aisami allegedly killed by a soldier on Friday. Lawa made the appeal on Wednesday while on a condolence visit to the family of the late cleric in Gashawa, Yobu State. This is where we draw the curtains on today's NAS this week. Join us next week for another insightful episode.
Saludos a Jensen, eh,